gotta get us some of these. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 futuristic movie technologies we wish we had today. What is it you're trying to achieve, sir? For this list, we're looking at movie technology that we could see ourselves putting to good use that hasn't made it to the mainstream yet. So if some brain box is still working on it in a lab, then we consider it a viable wish list entry. Oh, and we're not excluding anything just because it wasn't put to positive use in the film. May I have your attention, please? Number 10. Pauling MedPod 720i Prometheus. There's no bloody way. I'm, I'm three months pregnant. This sci-fi film introduced us to a selection of wondrous gadgets. It's not exactly a traditional fetus. Our favorite, and the one we could most easily see put to good use in the real world, is the medical procedure pod. I need a cesarean! Inside this glass-like coffin, one lays back and simply waits for a nip and a tuck. No doctor, no nurse, just some robotic limbs prodding, slicing, and dicing. Commence surgical procedure. It may put some experts out of a job, but picture how much you'd save on bills if you had one in your home. Number 9. Neuralizer, the Men in Black franchise. I am just a figment of your imagination. When you're a covert alien assassin, it can be easy to do or say something you really shouldn't. Fortunately, if the MIBs get to you, you'll forget it in the blink of an eye. This is called a Neuralizer. It's a gift from some friends from out of town. This red eye here will isolate the electronic impulses in your brains, and more specifically the ones for memory. Men in Black has killer guns in droves, but it's the standard issue memory wiping neuralizer we're really jealous of. All right, Beatrice. Point it at your target, slip on your Ray-Bans, push the magic button, and out comes a flash of light that erases your target's memory. So you just flash that thing, it erases her memory, and you, you just make up a new one? A standard issue neuralizer. If that wasn't enough, you can leave them with whatever fabricated memory you like. Or just give them some friendly advice. In fact, you know what? You kicked him out. And now that he's gone, you're gonna go in town, you go to Bloomingdale's, you find yourself some nice dresses, get yourself some shoes. Oh, and have you ever felt deja vu? You might just have been neuralized yourself. See you around, Jay. No, you won't. Number eight, powered exoskeleton, Elysium. I'd have to install this. In a kill or be killed world, you need all the help you can get. So as you can imagine, an exoskeleton suit that gives you superhuman abilities is a big plus. A third generation exosuit. We hook this into your nervous system and it'll make you strong as a droid. Whether it's the cobbled together last gen version as worn by Matt Damon, or the ultra modern getup worn by Kruger, the exoskeleton as seen in Elysium grants its wearer greater strength and speed. How's everything going? He's ready to kick ass. But our characters have to undergo some serious surgery to get this perk, as the metallic suit is, for all intents and purposes, screwed into their bodies. However, gaining the power to rip robots limb from limb and throw people across the room like ragdolls is definitely worth it. How's that suit working out for you, man? Yeah, shit is tight. Number seven, time travel pods, Looper. The enigmatic, futuristic doodads in Looper are enough to whet anyone's appetite. Whether it's hover bikes, telekinesis, or intimidating designer drugs, Looper is full of tasty futuristic treats. But the time travel pods are the coolest in its arsenal. We don't have a ton of details about how these pods function, but we do know that when you step into one in the future, you're zapped back through time. However, don't forget, you're sent back to the exact same spot. So what was a factory in the future may have been a field in the past. Number six, shared dreaming, Inception. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming, stay calm. You know how every time you try to explain a dream you had to someone else, it turns into one of those you had to be there moments? I'm asking you to take a leap of faith. 
Well, imagine if somebody else could be there. Enter Inception. In a world where someone else can enter your dreams and implant ideas, you can be extremely vulnerable. I'm the only thing you do believe in anymore. But mastering world-bending abilities in the dream world and sharing them with others would be beyond awesome. Did she tell you? Have you known all along? Whether you're here to steal from me or though we are actually asleep. Be careful though, because you may never know if you're in your own dream, someone else's, or limbo. Number 5. Hoverboard, the Back to the Future franchise. Little girl, little girl, stop, look, I need to bore you. Hoverboard. As far as time travel movies go, it doesn't get much bigger than Back to the Future. <laughs> Part 2 of the franchise travels to the distant future of 2015 and treats us to an array of possible technological marvels, like Nike power lacing sneakers and, of course, a flying DeLorean time machine. Flying DeLorean? But the coolest bit of future tech has to be the hoverboard. The next logical step in skateboarding technology, the hoverboard is the perfect toy for boys and girls, young and old. Plus, it makes a hell of a getaway vehicle. It's strange, but hovering instead of rolling on a board just seems 10 times cooler, as long as you don't go near water. Hey, little girl, thanks. Keep it. I got a pit bull now. Number four, Transporter, the Star Trek franchise. Mr. Scott, do you have enough power for transporters? The Star Trek universe is packed with cool gadgets. Take the virtual reality-esque holodeck, for example. But imagine instantly traveling from one place to another. Transporter room. Well, that's what the Star Trek universe is all about. Thanks to things like warp drive and, even more impressive, teleportation. Step onto the transporter platform, become pixelated, whoosh through the air, and finally come back together in another place. And the whole thing takes about two seconds, give or take. Just think of the applications. Using it for convenience is one thing, but imagine beaming out of somewhere just before trouble finds you. Number 3. Lightsabers, the Star Wars franchise. We meet again at last. Towing a futuristic line similar to Star Trek, but don't tell diehard fans that. Star Wars features levitation technology and quirky computer systems aplenty. Its highlight, though, is the sought after lightsaber. What is it? It's your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. <laughs> Coming in all sorts of colors and types, it's the preferred weapon of Jedi and Sith alike. Although it's basically just a glorified sword, you can't deny that the idea of pressing a button and having a laser fire up from your hand is epic. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Not just that, but this energy weapon can slice through pretty much anything in a heartbeat and is accompanied by an intoxicating humming sound we'll never get out of our heads. Number 2. Head Jack, The Matrix Franchise I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm fairly excited to see what you're capable of. This franchise is a pool of futuristic conundrums, both physical and mental, and The Head Jack stands at the center of them all. How about... Combat training. Keeping blue pills jacked into and powering the Matrix, and used by red pills to go in and out of the Matrix, this data port at the back of your head is a double-edged sword. But it sure comes in handy when you're trying to fight agents and free humanity. Jiu-Jitsu. I'm going to learn Jiu-Jitsu. We like to think we'd use it more for its ability to help us skip rigorous training and learn Kung Fu instantly, though. I know Kung Fu. Or, as in Neo's case, to enhance any of his other super cool abilities. Because seriously, who wouldn't want to master anything in seconds? Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. How about some more? Hell yes. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. A lung? The USR cybernetics program. For wounded cops. Voila, the GF1. Oh, my God. 
Do I know you? That is, if you point it at someone and pull the trigger, they instantly see things from your point of view. The Avatar program is a bad joke. Bunch of limp dick science majors. Number one, Jarvis, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You are not authorized to access this area. Jesus. That's Jarvis, he runs the house. Thanks to his brilliant mind, Tony Stark's world is full of exciting technology that we'd love to use in our day-to-day -day lives. Jarvis, you up? For you, sir, always. For example, whether it's being used for protection or simply to make life easier, the one-man army Iron Man suit is something we've all dreamed of taking for a spin through the clouds. Jarvis, you there? At your service, sir. However, none of his suits would be anything without Jarvis. Just a rather very intelligent system, this Stark-designed uber-intelligent AI system is a computer and an alarm, best friend and butler. Sir, there are still terabytes of calculations needed before an actual flight is a Jarvis. Sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Not only can it calculate and collate masses of data in moments, it can even convey human-like emotions. Sorry, Samantha from her, but Jarvis is cooler. Jarvis, you get an invite for that? I have no record of an invitation, sir. Do you agree with our list? What movie tech is your favorite? You have lived up to your reputation, Mr. Khan. I'm still dreaming. For more high-tech top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The clean slate protocol, sir? It's screwed. It's Christmas. Yes. Yes.